Hey folks, this is your host, the one, the only, Thrifty Gamer 83 here. You know, one of the greatest games I'd ever played and have ever had the chance to play is Castlevania Symphony of the Night on the original PlayStation. So, you know, I was kind of thinking, hey, I've got this 10 deck. Let's see what it can do, really. Let's see what it can do with the PlayStation 3 on composite using the upscaler. And using the upscaler, I noticed it really brings out a lot of the finer details along with a natural dark level. It's really a nice title to see upscaled. I can remember playing Castlevania Symphony of the Night with my older brother Billy, renting it a few nights, and, you know, at the time I was just disappointed. It wasn't anything like the classic Castlevania. It took a while to grow on me, and when it finally grew on me enough, I actually had some fun with it. I actually got used to the action role-playing elements of it, action role-playing light, or just a standard Metroidvania role-playing game. It's a nice touch from Konami, really. I enjoy playing Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I enjoy the character. I enjoy Alucard and the direction of just the game having so many dark and harsh undertones, which really, really meshes well with the 10 deck. It really does. It's nice to have that darkness level where it's not completely saturated with color, which you can see in the RCA. I like the dark overtures in the coloring because... It really, really forms the cohesive base of Symphony of the Night. At times, it can actually jump you. And hearing the puppet's laughter is just terrifying on an abnormal scale. It's like playing Silent Hill with a mixture of my fears of clowns so really symphony of the night has that working for it and i am absolutely terrified of clowns and hearing that laughter track oh man it's it's nightmare fuel and i like that konami did that i like that they went that far i like that they brought Castlevania into the action role-playing front and have continued to do so with various Game Boy Advance titles and 3DS titles. It's, it's just, it's magical, really, to reinvent Castlevania into an action role-playing game from being a strictly action game. And as well, I know that they took the action role-playing game in that direction also with Castlevania 2, but they didn't fully give in to it until Symphony of the Night, and for that I am thankful to for Konami, and I say thanks for the memories, Konami, really. You've given us an, a lifetime of memories with the Castlevania series, as I've not played the newer Castlevania titles, I've just decided to take a look back at the classics. And I am not ashamed to say Castlevania Symphony of the Night will probably always, always be at the top of my list from now on. Alright folks, rant, rave, love, hate, click that subscribe button, you're keeping my show on the air. Have a good one.